All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And we believe, say, uh, on Adon Day with us, and on Adon Day entertained and informed. Uh, we just finished one better interview with uh, a woman we call Uyi Sunday, a uh, broadcast journalist, and also the founder of Hold a Hand Foundation. They give us updates on how the uh, movement which they carry on take be and the journey so far. Well, we did look into the next level of uh, talking to our, our next guest, and he named uh, Orwell Okwe, and a researcher and a community manager. And we're going to talk about uh, fact checking because we know a lot of things they happen, a lot of uh, information they fly around. We know they real and we know the original. So we won't have this conversation with this ogre today. Welcome, sir. Yeah, welcome. Thank you very much. All Thanks right, for joining uh, us. Yeah, so uh, myself and Olive, uh, we are here to have this conversation with you. And we believe that this is a very, very important uh, uh, topic to have because a lot has been going on in the world right now. A lot has been going on in the world right now. And uh, information comes from places you don't, you can't even tell, and people run with these information. We thinking, actually have yeah, what we call an information overload. An o information overload, right yes. Now. So we just hear things and we take it as it comes without verifying, and that has been a major problem. So let's even start by, you know, understanding what uh, fact-checking is all about. Let's start from there. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean... Well, um, uh, I work with uh, Africa Check, uh, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, the first uh, independent fact-checking organization in, on the continent. And um, we, we essentially do fact-checking and as a way to promote accuracy in public debate and, and in the media. Mm -hmm. And, um, and fact-checking is essentially, you know, that, that process that extra mile that you go to uh, make sure that the information that you have is accurate, uh, essentially checking what, you know, uh, a claim that somebody has made or uh, information that you find online uh, with available data. Mm. Okay, say, you know, this, this person said this, but then what, what does the um, accurate data that say is available about, yeah. say about this? So you're essentially comparing, you know, what, what the, the information you have with what it will actually be, whether it is statistics, whether it is uh, historical data. If somebody said that, oh, something happened at a certain time, you go check the, if, if it really happened. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes we compare it and say, and we are very fond of, of that in this country, comparing you know, Nigeria versus Ghana yeah. and all of that. Yeah. You know, you are essentially going to look at what the data available, uh, you know, what, what does it say about, you know, what's uh, true in Ghana and what in Nigeria and all that. Uh, so so that, that's essentially what it is. And, and it, it's, um, it is a part of the editorial process uh, for um, it, uh, for journalists and and also uh, media houses, um, organizations like Africa Tech exist uh, probably because uh, there is a growing industry, uh, there is a growing fake news industry, if I may put it that way, and and there is an, a need for um, you know uh, some for people who will. Be dedicated on also ensuring that all of the information uh, out there are, uh, you know, are accurate, or at least one people say this information is not correct. Um, right. This is the accurate information. Now, I'm sure that there have been, not I'm sure, I know that there have been instances where people put out certain information. Africa Check does a verification and finds out that these you know, this information or these statistics are wrong. Can you share with us some sure. of them? Because there have been several memes on social media about Africa Check. And they will say, oh, the one way to get Africa Check not to check your, not to verify your post is you put your phone inside the microwave, yeah. put, put salt ah. inside the charging port. You know, just <laughs> funny post, just trying to tell us that no matter what you put, you no matter what you do, Africa Check, check find must it. verify. Yeah. So tell us some of the incidences where there have been popularly accepted information only for Africa Check to verify and realize it was wrong. Um. Yeah, well, in, 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 in the past few uh, 
months, we have been doing a whole lot more around uh, the COVID-19 mm -hmm. because, I mean, majority of uh, information right now is, is about the most important thing. Everybody is looking for information around it. So the majority of what we've done have been sort of to, to debunk some of the claims around uh, different cures that that uh, you know kills the virus i mean there is I, I we have lost count of how many things that that kills the virus mm -hmm. uh as, as of this time you know from from uh, you know all manner of foods uh, vegetables mm -hmm. and and all of that uh we'll have to um, you know check a number of them but but one, one of the things that one of the ones that, that we've done that um that I was quite important is a, that was a, a a list that that, that circulated online, uh, giving different recommendations of things to take, and yeah. and in that, on that list they said the, the, all of it came from UNICEF. You know, and mm -hmm. and and we, we we checked that, and it was as simple as uh, getting across to to UNICEF and to there is this information from you guys, and and they, they obviously said it it was false, and wow. then and then we also checked with experts in 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 the in all of those areas, and and also confirmed that you know none of those things is is correct, but but the the the, the, the important thing there is is to know that the people that create uh, false information for whatever reason. Um, sometimes try to put some form of authority to it, uh, and so sometimes you see that you know they they could use UNICEF, they could use WHO, mm -hmm. and and uh, you know sometimes they of course they also use uh, journalists, they use media organizations to um, sort of put some form of authority in the information that they create, and and, and a lot of times realizes the information is in, inaccurate, but then people will continue to argue with you that this is <laughs> this is not. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, one of the latest uh, one that we had that was, let's say, a bit controversial, is uh, the uh, that there was this information by the representative of WHO, um, where he was talking about the drug trial for yeah, COVID-19. Mm. Nigeria had uh, indicated interest to be a part of, a and unfortunately, it, it was actually reported uh, by a few media organizations as vaccine trial mm -hmm. and and not drug trial, and and they are they are two different things, a and so you know the, that report well the the uh, conspiracy theories around vaccine around. Uh, Around Bill Gates uh, and uh, you know, essentially vaccinate all of us for the whatever chip reasons. and the, yeah. the connections and, and conspiracy that, theories connected yeah, to five G. Exactly. So it was it was all over the place, and then we tried to confirm tell the people that look, what the woman said is drug trial, and drug and vaccine are not the same thing at all. Mm -hmm. and, and and so it, it was it was it was a big problem on our Facebook page. There was so much argument, so much. I mean, uh, they, they they called us uh, all matter of names that we are part of the part of the people that are pushing the uh, vaccine thing. So so just uh, uh, that misplacement of word vaccine uh, 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 with a drug, you know, was they caused a big misinformation. That a whole lot of people till today will uh, not believe uh, our fact check that look, what the accurate thing, which which is what was said, is drug trial and not vaccine trial. Vaccine trial. So those are the kind of those kind of uh, things that, that we've been seeing, you know, re recently um, around, especially around around this uh, COVID nineteen, the conspiracy theory, um, although. You know, been formed the basis for a lot of the information that that we've been getting.
Hmm. Well, now, speaking about uh, uh, fact-checking, now, would you uh, categorically say that every information put out or, you know, from uh, Africa Check is 100% fact or in 90% or how... How, we, how, how can we, um, you know, quantify this? Okay. Oh, well, what, what, what we do is that we check uh, the, the fact, uh, check what, whatever claim that is made in the media that mm -hmm. we come across or people send to us um, against available data. Okay. And, and we do, we, we, when, we're, when we're done, we do our report and one thing that we do is that we, we put in the links of all the data sources that we, we use and, mm -hmm. and all of that. So mm -hmm. practically, if you read our report, you can um, go through the process yourself and check whether you know, what we did was accurate or not. Mm -hmm. So we don't, we, don't, we don't claim to be, uh, we don't claim to, to, to know it all, uh, but we just follow uh, particular process to check, you know, if for this part, what is the latest data available of this? And then we, we try to just cross-check to say, okay, you said this, but the, the most recent data said that. Mm. And then, you know, with that, we can come up. Uh, and of course, we also always speak to experts to, uh, to, to sort of help interpret the data uh, you know, and in the end, we can come up with a verdict to say, you know, what you said is incorrect or mm -hmm. is exaggerated or it's understated. You know, we have all of that that verdict. So it's not we are not we are not uh, presenting ourselves as experts in in any of this. That's why we we work with experts and then you know we work with data. Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay. It, we. Is something that almost any other person can, can do, do if if you if you put in the uh, extra the, work. The work. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of putting in the extra work and doing the due diligence, yesterday Tenny Entertainer was trending on Twitter, and she was trending on Twitter for a statement that was uh, accredited to her. A statement where she she she, the, she was alleged to have said that her hit song, Your Mayor, was inspired by Whiskey. And then she made another statement about Whiskey being the original owner of one of her body parts. Now, she started trending with some people saying, don't you know this can also be referred to as sexual harassment? However, on a closer look of the account that tweeted it, it was a clone account. It looked exactly like Tenny's account, but it was not her account. The I in Tenny was actually... I uh, it was number one, I think. Mm. It was not a correct account. But many people didn't know this because it looked exactly like, like her the account, same the same name. Mm -hmm. The person just tweaked the eye to one and it looked exactly like that. Mm. So what would you say are some of the basic tips that you would give to anyone to fact check, journalist or not? Yeah, I mean, the, 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 the example that you gave, I mean, it's, it's something that is becoming really, really common these days. Um, people, people sort of just uh, open a, a lot of those imposter uh, accounts just to, you know, derail, derail conversation about this thing. I mean, for instance, remember we did, we did a particular, um, wrote a particular uh, report around the, the conversation when, when there was this uh, sex for grade documentary mm -hmm. uh, that indicted some lecturers in Unilag. Um, you know, at some point, some there were one of the part, uh, one of the lecturers that, that was indicted. I mean, that was like I, I think we found close to ten different accounts that claimed to be the man on Twitter, hmm. and they were saying all sorts of things. And the way people were responding it was obvious that a lot of people believed that 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 was that, that was the man. But the man, the man was not on Twitter. And, and and so it generally in in checking getting information, especially on social media, you really have to be careful. Uh, number one, what the um, what who is giving out this information? Mm -hmm. What the general general tips is to say well, if you find information, pause and and look at it and say um, why, especially if if it is information that that makes you, you know. Maybe makes you scared, makes you angry, or makes you 
really excited. Um, it, you, you really need to be careful because a, a lot of the times people who create false information try to play on your emotion. Yeah. And, and, and so, and so you, you can say, you know, why was this uh, information created? Mm. You know, you, you need to just ask that question, say, what is this trying to achieve? And, and uh, you know, what, who will probably be benefiting from this information? Because almost every information, even when information is correct, um, you know, some, a lot of the time they are presented with an agenda. So yes. it, 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 it helps you to, to have an idea of what the agenda behind a, a particular information uh, you find online. And then you have to ask, okay, where, what is the source? I mean that this this is this is a, a basic journalism at, is for for who are journalists is that for any information that you are putting out you need to know the original source mm -hmm. and 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 that is partly because uh, when information moves from one person to another to another to it another it, it mutates uh, along the way right mm -hmm. and, and so it, it it's always best to trace it to the very source as much as possible. So it can be as, something as simple as somebody shared something and you say, where did you get it from? And, and then, you know, and then just try to follow, follow that. Thing. If you are not able to establish uh, the source of a particular information, you need to be careful. You are, it, you are most likely dealing with a false information. Hmm. You know, and, and, and then generally, then compare what you have what compare that information with official sources or at least some, some relatively reputable sources, even though that, that is uh, a, a bit of a problem sometimes because even reputable sources can also make mistakes and mm. share false information. Um, so, but, but then in most cases, try to look at what is the official data source for this. You know, if, if, you, if you find a, a source, uh, uh, the, the source of the information being somebody who is not in a position to know that thing. For instance, you find people who, who, are, who are not experts in a particular field and yeah. they give you, you know, they speak so authoritatively, authoritatively. about it. <laughs> you know, I, you, you need to ask yourself, is this person in a position to know what he's talking about? Mm -hmm. And, 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 you know, from there, you, you might be able to, you know, trace. If the person does, is not in that position, you should be able to ask the person, what is the source of, of your this data? Information, yeah, yeah that, that, that's, that's really where, where we start our fact-checking process from. I think if, this is very, we, very important, you know, that we, that we ask we these it, very yeah. direct questions, more especially because Next. social media has made it a very, very difficult yeah. to be able to track original information. It keys in on our emotions. So. We get excited or angry or upset or triggered by this post, you know, videos, and we jump on it, reshare over and over again, only for us to later come and find out that it was false news. So we must all do our due diligence. Thank you so much, Alwa Lokwe, for joining us and sharing these tips on how important it is. We've been joined with Alwa Lokwe, who is a researcher at Africa Check, and they have talked about the importance of double checking, cross checking, triple checking, more importantly, looking to the source of any information before you resharing, so you don't stand the risk of potentially resharing wrong information, most especially in this day of social media where you are just a tweet away from your wrong broadcast. <laughs> okay, up next. All work. right, uh, moving on to the next matter of the day. Uh, well, I could just like talk to from the thing that he said, there's one thing where I know say I, I, I take home. He say if you can't find the source of uh, an information, then it's most likely that that, source, that information is wrong. If source not there, the you say, ah, where you take it at? Then I want my guy, I know to know, you ask that guy, okay, where you get on? Say, you know, say, people just, they talk for that place. If, so, you, if you can't really get... Better say that story. You just know that, ah, this information, no, na lie. Because Chinese, it's like Chinese whispers. So I tell you something. Yes. The way I tell you is not the way you, you relate tell it the next to the person. next person. Mm -hmm. You either omit or add sugar. Mm -hmm. The next person will either omit or add salt. And before you know, by the time it gets to the last person, if you see be, the, you'll be wondering what, what you, happened. If you see the way men, they argue with wrong information, 
Say you know, say that guy, now my guy, and they don't know the guy. So a lot of times, we like to argue a lot because if you say the more you can argue, the more intelligence and respect you will get from your society. So we like to argue. Even if we don't know the thing, we say, ah, this thing, we say, I'm not. So a lot of times, if you are, if I, I hate arguments with that fact. It, 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 it tire me. So please, uh, let's always keep our facts right. Find the source. If you don't know, find the source, most and likely. And this table, all of us, they are no, yes, taking this table, all of us. Make, find the source. Course, eh? Most especially on Instagram. I swear <laughs> that. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun Get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.